Eagles are some of the most majestic creatures in the animal kingdom, with incredible adaptations and survival skills that make them one of the top predators in their environment. But could an eagle survive on Mount Everest, the tallest mountain in the world? The summit of Mount Everest is an incredibly harsh and inhospitable environment, with low air pressure and extreme temperatures that make it difficult for most animals to survive. The air pressure at the summit is only about one-third of that at sea level, which means there is much less oxygen. It releases a tremendous amount of energy in the form of heat and light. The sun has several layers, including the core, the radiative zone, and the convective zone. The temperature at the core is around 15 million degrees Celsius, and the pressure is immense about 250 billion times that of the Earth's atmosphere. Every second, the sun converts about 600 million tons of hydrogen into helium, releasing a massive amount of energy in the- So you just watched two YouTube short clips that I made using some cool AI tools. If you're new to YouTube and want to get some views and attention on your channel, creating YouTube shorts is a great way to start. Plus, it's super easy with the help of AI tools. In fact, with the method I'm about to show you, you can make up to 30 YouTube shorts every day. So let's dive into how I made these YouTube shorts using AI. The first thing you'll need to do is establish your niche. It might not be easy, but it's crucial. For this video, I decided to create an entertaining facts channel about nature, animals, humans, the solar system, and other cool stuff. To come up with a name for my channel, I went over to ChatGPT and asked it to give me 20 cool and short names for a YouTube channel where I would ask questions and discuss facts about animals humans, nature, and the solar system. ChatGPT generated these outputs with the help of WebChatGPT. After sifting through the outputs, I decided on BioBlabber number 17. I thought it was perfect. Next, I asked GPT-3 to write me a channel description for BioBlabber, and it gave me exactly what I needed. Again, I asked ChatGPT to give me 10 gender-neutral names suitable for an intelligent robot. After looking through the outputs, I choose to go with this name, Nova. So I've got two things I need to create and launch my new YouTube channel, the name and the channel description. I went ahead and created the channel and gave it a name. Next up, it was time to set up the channel. For the profile picture, I simply hopped over to Lexica and searched for a cute robot picture. I found one I liked and downloaded it. Then, I went to Canva and used one of their YouTube banner templates to create a custom banner for my channel. Once I was happy with it, I uploaded both the profile picture and the banner to my YouTube studio to personalize my channel. With the channel all set up, it was time to come up with the first 10 video ideas. I could have asked ChatGPT to generate some ideas for me, but I wanted to have control over the type of content I create for my channel. So, I came up with 5 video ideas myself, and here they are. After coming up with my initial video ideas, I decided to analyze them using ChatGPT to generate some additional ideas that were similar. I pasted the results into my document and now have over 10 ideas to work with. Now it's time to get started on the scripts for the first two topics. I'll start with the video script first before moving on to the voiceover and visuals. So, I copied the first topic into ChatGPT, but the first output wasn't what I wanted. So I rephrased the question to, could an eagle survive on Mount Everest for a week? This time I got a much better output. Next, I asked ChatGPT to rewrite the output into a brief YouTube video script suitable for a short video, and to include some cool facts about eagles. The output was solid, so I copied and pasted it into my document for editing later on. I'll do the same for video idea number 2. Simply head back to ChatGPT, copy and paste the second video topic. If we had infinite supply of water how many gallons would it take to quench the sun? This was the output. Just like before, I would ask ChatGPT to rewrite the output into a brief YouTube video script, and also include some very cool facts about the sun. I could repeat this process for the rest of the video ideas. Now here is the most important part. I'm going to edit the ChatGPT outputs into interesting brief passages. There's a lot of irrelevant details, so I'll add my own human touch and make the scripts more interesting. Here you can see that I'm reading through and editing the GPT outputs by adding some human touch. After editing, I have some great video scripts. But before we start making them, we need to turn the scripts into audio. For that, I'll use an AI text-to-speech tool to generate a voiceover, which will be the foundation for our entire video. 
This section of the video is sponsored by Lovo AI, and I'm excited to show you how we use their Jenny AI tool to create amazing voiceovers. Jenny AI is a new high-quality text-to-speech tool developed by Lovo AI. The voiceovers produced by Jenny AI are so realistic, they sound almost like a real human voice. The voiceover profiles even have the ability to reflect emotions. If you want to try it out for free, check out the link below this video. So, let's get started. I'm going to log into my Jenny AI account and head over to the dashboard to create a new voiceover project. As you can see, you can create multiple tracks containing different AI voiceover profiles and combine them into a single voiceover project. If you want to judge the quality of the voiceover samples available on Jenny, just click on the voiceover profile. Sitting on an overturned and empty cask, close by the gate of the barricade. Hey there! I'm just a regular person working in finance. We had to create education videos for in-company trainings. I know how money works. You want to make a lot of money, champ. You got to work your ass off. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, little ones. Hope you have been a good boy this year because I got presents for you. For the first script, I'm going to go with the Sophia AI voiceover avatar. So, I'll select the voiceover, paste in the video script, and the entire passage will be split up into sentences, with each sentence in a different text block. Then, I'll use the Generate button on the right-hand side of any of the text blocks to generate the audio. Let's listen to the voiceover. These are some of the most majestic creatures in the animal kingdom, with incredible adaptations and survival skills that make them one of the top predators in their environment. But could an eagle survive on Mount Everest? It sounds good enough for our video. I'm going to render and export this voiceover into a WAV audio file, so I'll click on the download button to save it to my computer. Next, I'll repeat the same process for the second passage. I'll create a new project, paste in the script, generate each text block, render, and download the final results. This time, I'll switch to the Santa Claus voiceover profile, which is more fun and enthusiastic. Let's have a preview of the voiceover. Comes from the fusion of hydrogen atoms into helium, which releases a tremendous the temperature at the core is around 15 million degrees Celsius, and the pressure is immense about 250 billion times that of the Earth's atmosphere. Every second, That's the awesome. sun converts. Now it's time to start making the video. I'm going to use Flex Clip for video editing. There are several video editing software options out there, but for me, Flex Clip is the easiest and most beginner friendly. So, I'm now on the Flex Clip website and I'm going to log into my account. On my dashboard, I'll create a new project from scratch. Choose the vertical video orientation or 9 by 16 aspect ratio and select the timeline mode. After a few seconds, I'll be redirected to the video editing interface. First, I need to import the voiceover I've created with Jenny. Once I've uploaded it to my editing project, I'll drag and drop it onto the timeline. Then, it's time to start adding some stock video clips. To add stock videos, first select the video tab and then head over to this search bar on the top left. I'll use this search bar to find video clips that match the voiceover by typing in keywords related to what I want to see in the video. In this case, I'll be searching for videos with keywords such as eagles, mountaintop, Mount Everest, mountain goats, and sea level as they are related to what I want to add to my video. When I find a suitable video clip, I simply drag and drop the file into the video timeline and trim it to the correct length. The editing process involves searching for video clips, adding them to the timeline, and trimming them to match the voiceover. This is me doing the entire video editing process. Once I'm done, I'll add some transition effects and a background music to the video. To add transitions between clips, I'll click on the rectangle button between two adjacent clips and choose a transition that works well for that point. Next, I'll search for a good royalty-free music track that would suit the video. I think a documentary-style music track would be perfect. I'll drag and drop this track into the timeline and reduce the volume to about 4 or 5%, so it doesn't overpower the actual voiceover. Now that I'm done with the video editing, it's time to export the video. But first, let's have a brief preview. Eagles are some of the most majestic creatures in the animal kingdom, with incredible adaptations and survival skills that make them one of the top predators in their environment. But could an eagle survive on Mount Everest, the tallest mountain in the world? The summit of Mount Everest is an incredibly harsh and inhospitable environment, 
with low air pressure and extreme... So, now that I'm happy with the video, it's time to export it. I'll just click on the export button in the top right hand corner and select Full HD 1080p resolution. After a few minutes, my video will be ready to download onto my computer. What do you think of this method for creating YouTube Shorts videos? And how many videos do you think you could make every day using this process? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. There you have it, that's how I created those two YouTube Shorts using AI tools. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Also, check out this video on how to use Flex Clip to create professional long-form YouTube videos using AI content creation tools. It's a similar process to what I've shown you here. Thanks for watching.